looking at the you know, players like Bashak and Milos and, and how they seem to excel under that circumstance. How important will it be for them and how will you as their mentor and leader instill that in them, that confidence? Well, the, you know, the key will be how, how they do in the fall and early in the season, probably in Australia, um, because the Davis Cup is really early February. It's very soon in the calendar, so they won't have that many opportunities to play that many matches at that time of the year. Uh, so this fall will be important for them, but it's still six months away for a 21-year-old. Uh, six months, you have time to progress quite a bit at that age. Um, so it's all to our, to our advantage, really, that uh, these guys will be better six months from now than, than they were now, than they are now, and um, we gotta we gotta factor that in. Obviously, not the outcome that you want to see this time around, but you talk about the comparable situation when you faced Sweden last time. What will you do to change the landscape moving forward and make sure that the outcome is a win this time against such yeah. a strong team? Especially? Well, 20 years ago, yes, they had. Uh, you know, Stefan Adberg had, was number one in the world. He just coming off uh, a, uh, an Australian Open final. Um, they had uh, Anders Jared, number five in the world. They had Magnus Gustafsson, number nine. Um, they were a formidable team. But, uh, you know, we played at home. The crowd was incredible, and it just, you know, we had everything to gain. We had, uh, we were going after them. Uh, they were expected to win, and, you know, you put all those elements together, you know, we, we went for it. And, and we nearly created uh, maybe one of the biggest upsets in uh, Davis Cup history. So that's the way we got to approach it, really, uh, this team, to, to have this chance to, um, to make a big, a big upset in, in the world of tennis. And tennis in Canada is, is riding an incredible wave of momentum, positive momentum. Um, tennis is at the front pages, uh, forefront of all the media. They, you know, we're on TV. Um, there's a lot of talk about uh, women's tennis, about uh, junior tennis, about Milos, Daniel winning another Grand Slam, and um, you know now this is going to be our third tie that we play in a row at home. So we gotta you know, cherish all the, uh, this opportunity to, to ride the wave and uh, to keep the momentum going and create a great upset. Another thing that's also being 